Welcome to my weekly spiel. Welcome to my weekly spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. It's time for Margaret's weekly spiel. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations. And I'm sorry I'm a little late this week. I wanted to do my spiel after I gave my my uh, art gallery tour. That's what it is. All my stuff is on display at the uh, Ontario Shores. Well, not quite all my stuff. Let me turn the lights out in the hallway so I'm not wasting what appears to be. Sorry about that. But anyway, we are all but four quilts are hanging there. I will show them to you when I post my video of my art gallery tour. Good news, I am finally down to the last square on my Canada quilt. See, there's a moose at the bottom here. I'm probably gonna save the moose for, for last, just like I did with the penultimate square. So I have the last row here almost finished. See, we have a nice little scene with a lighthouse and some colorful rocks. We have this here building. I'm not sure what it's called. Anyone who has been there might recognize it and can tell me. And we have a deer, and we have this one called a spirit bear. That's a white bear. Like, they're quite rare. There was a program the other night, uh, The Nature of Things, with David Suzuki, and the show was about bears. And they showed a mama bear with four or five cubs. There were black bears, but the mama bear was white, and that's called a spirit bear. So I decided to make this one a spirit bear. I had everything else done and I was gonna, I saved the bear for last. Anyway, I have an interesting concept for you. The other night, Jeanette and I were talking about our Niagara trip and I, under, I misunderstood what she said. She said it felt like a minefield and first I thought she said mind meal. Now what is a mind meal? And we brainstormed on the concept like, you know the expression food for thought, or eye candy, or chicken soup for the soul, or what was it? There was one more. Uh, my eye candy, food for thought. Anyway, a mind meal is something other than food that makes you feel happy and satisfied. It could be a nice yoga session, or a, a day at the spa. Like, a massage or going for a swim or going being engrossed in a good movie that that really makes you feel immersed and allows you to forget about the real world for a while anyway a trip to my my art exhibit could be a, a veritable smorgasbord for the senses yeah feast your eyes that's another expression i was thinking about on along the line of mind meals so if if you read a good book that's a mind meal. If you, what I like to do is have a nice long soak in a hot ba bubble bath with my Archie comics. That's probably my favorite mind meal. Anyway, I guess that about sums it up in a nutshell. I do hope that you will come and experience my art exhibit at Ontario Shores in person between now and the end of September. And I am working towards hopefully getting my stuff eventually exhibited at the RMG, that's the Robert McLaughlin Gallery here in Oshawa, and or maybe the Station Gallery in Whitby. Station Gallery requires me to uh, come out with a really elaborate proposal complete with a resume. But I can do it. I can do anything I can set my mind to. The fact that I have my stuff on display at Hujigawatsit, Ontario Shores, is proof that I can do anything. Like I can get other than, it's kind of a big deal because it's the first place that I've had an exhibit other than Bob Cajun. And I am hoping that people will buy my quilts and tomorrow I am going to be getting my sixth tattoo. I'm getting a bunny rabbit on my left ankle. It's the rabbit from the Greenway Conservancy Carousel. Well, I have babbled on for long enough. So, bye bye. Be back soon. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel.